Welcome to the Cyber Zone with DK Cyber. Today, I'm going to show you how the hackers really hide or secretly embed malicious code behind images like this. You know, these images, they are quite attractive, you know. So the minute you see them, you want to click on it. But when you click on it, boom, they hack your account or they take your account from you or they start secretly monitoring you or start, you know, doing all sorts of funny things against you. So I'm going to show you how they do it and even how you can prevent yourself that is the very most important thing how you can prevent yourself because you definitely see these images how do you differentiate between images like this and good images because definitely there are good images on the social media but sometimes the hackers do use this attack to hack you and this falls under the social engineering attack you know they send you a link you click on it they send you images you click on it and all these things do happen every day on the social media right so the name is remain dk cyber if you're new to this channel can you do well to subscribe click on the bell icon anytime you release good content like this you'll be the first person to see without wasting your time today i'm going to do it from the windows environment but if you have the kali the linux you know that is where normally they do it from but i'm going to use a simple and a common operating system that is windows to show you what, how they do this right so can you do what to subscribe and share right so pick your device your laptop whatever you are using let me show you how they do it and how you can also prevent yourself so here on the pc i'm going to show you how you can embed malicious code or a payload a trojan into this picture so that when you click this picture boom you'll be hacked right so let me show you so there's a picture so I come to my desktop, I have the picture here. So what I'll do is I'll just create a folder. I'll name the folder, let's say I'll name the folder hack, hacks, right? I'll just name the folder hacks. Now, and I'll open the folder, I'll open the hacks folder, right? So just open the hacks folder, then just copy this image and put it inside the hacks folder. Now, so we have the image in the hack folder. So what I'll do here is that I'll just come here and create what we call a test file, right? So a test document. So here I'll just do a test, right? So I have test in here. Now open the test, right? You want to embed the malicious payload or the backdoor or the rat into it. I have already created, I have already created the, the rat here. I have it all the way here. So here you see, yes, I have my rat here. So this is a code that I've developed. So I'll just copy the code here, right? And come, I'll open the test here. Open this test, so wait for it. Then you just open the test. So when you open the test, then here you just come and paste it in there and you save it, right? So save it. So here you go to save. So you've saved our test here. Now, fantastic. So this is the folder that we have here. So we have the folder here, right? So the hacks folder is here. Now, what we'll do is we have to get a shortcut of the test folder. So I'll right click here and I'll go to add to Winra. You can do add to zip, right? They are all yours. So anyone you want to use. So we have it. So this is what we have. So we have the image in here, the test Winra, then we have the test file. So the next thing you have to do is just go to CMD, right? Then you just just type CMD at the search button or you go to here and you search for the command prompt So you click on the command prompt wait for it to load. So this is a command prompt Now for this command prompt you are going to locate where the desktop is. So you just do CD and you do desk desktop Right, so desktop you are looking for a folder on the desktop called hacks. So you do desktop then you do hacks Right, then you do enter so now this shows that we are now in the hacks folder. So let's see if you are in the hacks folder. So you just do direct. So that directory D I R. So here it shows that we are in the directory folder. So you see the image here. We see the lady image, right? And we also see the test. We see the mirror. So basically, this is what we are seeing: the lady, the test, and the mirror. So this is what we are seeing here, right? Now what are we going to do? We are trying to embed this very code into this lady's picture right but for the proof of concept i will maintain the lady the one not being the a code has not been embedded into it and i also do another one with the code embedded into it right so this time around what i have to do is quite simple what i have to do is quite simple so here all we'll do here is i will do copy we'll do copy 
right so we do just say here copy then you do space then do forest slash b right that's the formula then you do here so here we add the image the first image that is a lady you see lady then you see dot lady sorry lady dot p n g right then here you do plus plus what plus the test that is a real number four. so plus t e s t dot r a r right run ra, right so that is it so then you do space then you add the image i want to do so we want to get embedded into this lady lady so we do lady two right so we see the difference dot p and g right then you just do enter then you see here one file is copied right so here we are still here so let's go to our folder to see how many files we have oh, oh la la you see here we have the lady we have the lady too so right now this lady is infected this image when you click on it when i should send it to you and i have a back door i have a, a malicious code in there it will affect your pc so we have this lady here the original and now we have the fake one here embedded how can we know that this one is fake or we have the test embedded into it don't worry so you can just come here right then search for the rinra i use rinra so if you use it you can just search for your zipped right so you just open your rinra here so let me close here hey rinra so here rinra let's go to desktop rinra desktop right rinra desktop and let's look for hacks right so we want to go to hacks whoa you see so we have the lady lady that one we don't have anything inside right so when you double click on it or you try to check it it will just show you the image right so this very one there's nothing in there but look at this very one lady the same lady too if i click on the lady too then you see here a test appear here you see so this is the what the hard one see so you see the code are embedded into it the rat the rat is basically going to look everything in there then I can just do a meta exploiter. I, ca I can go to my hacking environment and just do uh, MS console, open the meta exploiter and start listening to whatever you are doing, whatever the images I can start listening to it, right? So that is it. So you see here, we have, when you come back here, we have the original image, right? That is this image. And the same image we have been embedded into it, right? So we have, and we have here, this is the one that we've embedded right so we've embedded this uh, image here so that means that this image is affected today there are, there are lots of this going on on the social media so how are you going to be able to detect to see all these things right how can you prevent yourself from this these are official links as i said earlier the official links so how can you prevent yourself so let me show you how you can prevent yourself from these attacks that comes on our social media today so let me show you oh you see so this is how easily they embed malicious code behind images using to scam you or fraud you you know or to hack you today i'm going to show you how you can prevent yourself right the very important thing here is that you have to be very careful about new accounts accounts that are new that they send you messages they send you dm they send you links to click on it it's it, it's advisable that you don't click on those things from unknown account right account that you don't really know much about them if possible, go back to their profile, go and research about them, find out a lot about them, when they created accounts, what they are doing, why they are sending you that thing, right? What about if the person sending truth to you, you know the person, the person your friend on FB, right? Depend on who the person is and look at the image very well. Sometimes it might not be from these uh, bad guys, right? So that is it. And uh, normally on your phone, I always ad advise you, any device you are using, try to do a uh, periodic update, you know, how to update your device, you know, so that at least you get the new security features, like even uh, Windows Windows 10. If you do updates, you know, they have internal inbuilt antivirus that can really help you. Or better, so you can also go ahead to also find some antivirus that software or programs to use on your device right but i'm going to share with you one platform right so just go to google and search for this very platform uh let's search for virus 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 tutor right so you click on virus tutor here then you go here virus tutor open yes it's a great platform you see file so the image they've sent you is a file they've sent you a document it's a file so here just come and go to choose file right you just have to allow all these things here so you choose the file you upload the file right then 
you see so here you can just upload the file there so when you upload the file in there now you can really do a simple google search or a simple search on that uh, file to see that if there are malicious code behind that file right that can easily go a long way uh, to to really help you right so this is what normally happens in the social media and we see this every now and then especially the red flag here is that normally they use images that will attract you so like those sexual images those nude images nude videos especially most especially just nude videos nude, you know because those words i i have done a video to tell you about that when you visit such platform like those pornographic or explicit platform you stand a chance of being hacked or like you stand a chance of getting various malware on your or trojan on your device so that is how and that is what you do right so the name still remain dk cyber right if you love what we do kindly do what to subscribe share for other people to join this great community and i want us to hit 10k on this platform so please do well to share and subscribe right support what we do and we promise you that always bring you good content and also show you what is happening today in the world of technology and in the world of hacking i do call myself or people showing the world of hacking right the name still remain dk cyber the youngest cyber crime fighter in gh thanks for watching bye